Right now on the news at six, we begin with breaking news in the district where another young life has been taken by the pull of a trigger. This is the scene in Northeast where a teenager was shot and killed not far from that area. And this happened near two schools this afternoon, not long after they were released. Thank you for joining us. I'm Leslie Foster. And I'm Lorenzo Hall. Once again, we're talking about a child here, a 15 year old one with his whole life ahead of him. And we keep talking about this. We gotta figure out how to solve this problem. But in the meantime, let's tell you what we know at this hour. This happened just after 3.30 p.m., right when school usually gets out along 48th Place in Northeast near the Kelly Miller Middle School in Aton Elementary School. Our Matthew Torres joins us live from that scene right now. And Matthew, we just heard from police a short time ago. What are they saying about this 15-year-old and the search for the suspects? Uh, well, so far, police have not released the name of this uh, victim, but we are told it appears that he was the intended target. Again, the executive assistant chief and the commander who responded to a call of gunshots fired, confirming that a 15 year old boy was shot and killed. Now that shooting took place here just on the other side of Maud Aiton Elementary School. There on the other side where you see the ATF agents, we are told that's where the shooting happened. And according to that commander, that 15 year old boy was just sitting some by, somewhere by the front porch when three people, three suspects in a golden sedan pulled up, they got out and started firing shots, eventually hitting this victim. Now, we did get video from a witness who shot the uh, victim being airlifted away from the scene. Uh, this person was uh, Airvacked uh, from the nearby Kelly uh, Middle School. That is a school just down the street. The students there were placed on a brief lockdown as this victim was then sent to the hospital. Now, keep in mind, though, this happened around 3 30 this afternoon as students were being let out of the school buses here just outside of the school. And we were told there were about 50 students. Uh, nearby when the shooting took place and it unfolded the chaos. Witnesses tell me they heard plenty of gunshots and saw the students running away from the scene. Again, it appears the victim was targeted and according to the officials here, after another violent trend just last weekend, they're really looking for the community's help finding who the suspects are. It's heartbreaking. These, these press conferences don't come any easier, especially when it involves a 15 year old a 15 year old. So um, we're just asking for the community's help to help close this case. Now back here at the scene, you can still see there are several officers. We also noticed there are ATF agents out here. Two school buses remain here at the scene. We are still waiting to find out if there's any statement, at least from the uh, school district, if there's anything that they will provide. But no doubt a lot of people are shaken up right now. I did talk to uh, who says she was the grandmother of this victim, at least before we found out that he died. Clearly she was shaken up about this entire situation. But right now police are asking anyone with information. Again, three people in a golden sedan uh, seen leaving down 48th place to give them a call. Of course, people can report information anonymously. Reporting live in Northeast, the Matthew Torres, WUSA 9. You know, I think it's important to tell people that we say call police, but we want to make this easy for you because if you're at home and you know something, you can call 202-727-9099 or you can text police at 50411. They're making these available. You do not have to say who you are. Mm -hmm. They are tired of having these press conferences. They want to save these children's lives. And remember, it's not just the child who died in yeah. their family. All these children who ran for Traumatized cover by are this. all victims right. as well. We're all victims of this. We got to do something. And a lot of people who knew that 15 year old. That's right. Yeah, that's right.